Welcome back, fellas. Dominated tips. <coughs> I think it's uh, quite time for the next frequently asked question episode. Uh, during the last days, I received a couple of questions, pretty interesting, and also some new facts came about or came around, which I already was not aware of. So let's start in order and let's start with the biggest topic we already have talked quite a lot about, but it seems like that not all players have got the intention or the... Um, the final conclusion. So um, it's about dropping and uh, I released four kind of indicators where you can see uh, with, with uh, which you can check quite uh, whether an enemy alliance is using sandbaggers or whether or not. Like I already mentioned uh, in the very beginning of the dropping uh, uh, video, it is quite an intransparent topic and uh, if the, especially if the enemies want to hide that they are using sandbaggers, you cannot completely 100% sure validate whether they are using or whether they are not using sandbaggers. But in the end, sandbaggers are therefore uh, getting used that they are dropping the average strength of an alliance, which means their level, um, their their age and especially their defense and offense upgrades should be pretty pretty low so especially accounts which are really low in level such as um, especially iron age players uh, classical age players are um are to suspect whether they are really active players or whether they are sandbaggers um because when i when i've seen sandbaggers or when i have seen enemy bases most players which are from um i think 99 percent of the players which are met evil or even above from their age they have um defensive structures such as walls such as towers catapults and something like this so they are not that significantly dropping the uh the average or the yeah the alliance average like a very low player without walls with only one unleveled tower for example is so which um like a player which is just which has just yet reached the gap level to participate in World War and has only the, the necessary amounts of buildings to gain the level to get, you know what I mean? And um, therefore I think it's pretty obvious if you are comparing um, which age and which defense upgrades the enemy has. If you see there's a very low account and he has no defensive structures, even if the account is in the medieval age, if he has no walls, that is really suspicious. Why should someone build no walls or let them let his walls at level 1, 2, 3? And so if the walls are going higher, it is a really high chance that this guy is even no sandbagger at all anymore because if it would be an account which is used to get sandbagged and nevertheless had upgraded defenses, he is quite not sack stacking or sandbagging or whatever so this is quite only logical if you see a player who has really low or nearly not a non-existing defense uh, structures and offense upgrades then the suspicion <coughs> is really close that um, it is a sandbagger otherwise i don't think so um, i'm not pretty sure whether i have explained it enough so that you have understood it um probably because of my bad English. So give me a little feedback whether you have now finally, I think most of you already have understood what my intention was to uh, show and to validate whether there is some a sandbagger or whether or not. So the next um, point we want to get through are our challenge modes or our challenges. You can do it quite in your alliance. Let me let me change the, the language. It's pretty, pretty um strange i have ordinary all of my my language at english at my main account but sometimes it i'm pretty sure really the language is changing by itself when i'm changing between my accounts so i don't know why this is happening my language was definitely at english and now it's german i don't know why so let's get to the next point the next point is quite a simple and a basic information which some of you may already know but I'm nevertheless mentioning it because I recognized even skilled players over here and in other alliances did not know about and uh, it quite really helped a lot to increase their world war base designs. So let's talk about the challenge mode and when the challenge mode was implemented first time we had the opportunity to challenge um, with come on, our town layouts and also our world war layouts. Now after re-implementation, it seems like we cannot post anymore our world war layouts. The consequence is that only home layouts are getting uh, are getting uh, posted and especially at some players I see that they are all all and all again posting the same base and especially if this base is let's call it not that strong build so it you can optimize it quite then uh, there is quite no um 
it's not helpful for the alliance at all. What my recommendation would be now, if you are now creating a new world wall layout, create it in your home base editor. So like I did over here, you see my new world wall base I created and um, If you do so, you can just post it first as challenge mode and then you can see how it is uh, dealing and how it is working, whether the, your um, improvements are sophisticated and whether they are running like you wished or like you intended to. And if it's bullshit, you can correct it, re-challenge or repost it in your Alliance chat. And if you don't like it, you can delete it. But if you like it, you can pretty easy copy it to your war bases. Other way around, this is not possible. And initially, I made this mistake. I, like already before, I built my war base over here in the war base editor and then I recognized I cannot test it anymore so I completely had to screenshot the uh, base and to rebuild it over here which took me quite a lot of time so the recommendation would be to build your new next or your new new war bases not in the war base editor like intended or like in f former times just to build it in the hometown editor so you can copy it quite easy or delete it without many effort or much effort. Next, let's talk about defense coalitions. Um, with the last update, I think it was 5.5. I'm not pretty sure, but there was um, an update. The last one or the one before, which made our defense, uh, our coalitions at all, really much more powerful. So you definitely have to care now about them, especially if the enemy has high level or a quite a huge amount of defense um, coalitions and you can really easy now again in former times it was for a short period of time not possible check it by clicking on it to see which level he has as defense coalitions and then you can also scout him which was uh, for a short period of time in former times not possible anymore so over here we are um, by the way, uh, only for example a side notice this is the enemy I will have to attack in the next world war over here at the uh, at the shred but what I want to mention is um, in previous times you had not the opportunity for some time to uh, look at the stage or the upgrade stage of the defense coalitions of an enemy if you are in the scouting mode now you have again so it's pretty easy to see it and it's definitely some kind of mistake if you are not doing it before the attack then attacking and getting completely smashed just only because you missed the opportunity to check the defense coalitions for, uh, f uh, before so now if you are starting, especially high-leveled um, defense coalition troops, which come together with the forest defenders very often, can really be a pain in the ass if your troops are in the heat of the battle, right in the battle zone, carrying for some um, other enemy uh, troops. And um, very often they are splitting up. Some of your howitzers or other valuable troops, such as healing cards, no matter, are getting smashed by the forest defenders. And you can really easy... Um, Uh, avoid this just by searching some um, corner or some edge of the base where you have no defensive structures such as air defense and towers so for example here would be pretty perfect even better would be over here if you are now starting the battle search for your location where you want to start with your main army then search for the location where you can deploy one ranged infantry which uh, like i already mentioned where no um, air defense or towers are in the next uh, location if you are now dropping only one ranged infantry you can care and you can look where are the forest defenders spawning where are the coalition troops um, or even you can d immediately starting to drop all of your wrestly troops it's depending on how far far there is the distance between the enemy base so when your troops are getting shot if you have enough time you can just easily care now for the forest defenders and for the coalition troops with your planes and then get back with your um with your attention to your main troops it's pretty easy and it's definitely not very complex but it can save your butt especially against players with high level defense coalitions and many of you may now say oh, I'm already aware of this but when I'm looking and I'm getting sent really really many um, attack videos from other players which want to hear my opinion about their attacks and pretty many players even skilled players or higher players are not doing so therefore I'm mentioning these facts Uh, the next point is this little bit sad conclusion. If we are now um, summing up or taking a conclusion of the last update, we see that we got Marco Polo, which is quite not that like we all expected. We got uh, higher prices for crowns. I, for example, I'm not buying any crowns, but I hear from many other players some complaints. The challenge mode is in the end not working anymore, like everyone is really uh, happy with it. Also, there is another bug about the, um, the challenge mode. Um, when you are posting um, a challenge for your alliance 
And then there is the, uh, it's quite somewhere over here, like over here, right in the chat. If now someone is attacking at this um, challenge, this challenge is getting, uh, is getting pushed up so that it is definitely at the top. So um, especially during the World War, pretty, info pretty um, important informations, troop requests and other very important things about the World War are pretty often getting... Um, pushed by side so that they are not anymore in your in your sight and that you are cannot seeing them anymore by this um, challenge modes and so I think in total this is quite definitely improvable the next thing with which uh, which is uh, sadly but definitely not working especially um, I mean it's not working at my alliance and I heard from many other alliances. I'm not pretty sure whether it's working at your alliance but I'm talking about the tiebreaker if we are going to the war report oh we cannot do over here so uh, now we can. Um, if we are talking about the tiebreaker, it was new implemented or newly implemented with the last update. And the tiebreaker, for all of you which probably don't know, the tiebreaker was quite a system because in further times, on former time, in former times, sorry, in former times, if very, especially very strong alliances, such top like top 100 alliances, if they are fighting against each other, very often they are that strong that both of the alliances were able to five star all of the bases from the other side. So both alliances got complete and maximum amount of stars and also as a result of this also the average destruction was um, the same at both alliances so it led to a stalemate very often in very many cases now um, dominations implemented the total attack duration instead of the uh, average attack duration and that was quite favorable for most of the players because like dominations announced it this would be quite a fact that you can go over a base when it's already five star to um, increase or better to say to decrease the total attack duration and so get an advantage about the enemy alliance so which would would and that's the point it which would make the world war pretty much more strategical in the end i heard complaints uh, from many alliances and now i also um, recognized it on my own yesterday in world war against some greek alliance um, we had both full amount of stars so both also the same average destruction of 100 percent but then total attack duration there was the first problem that um, probably you have seen my second world war attack video i attacked enemy number two and i gained additional 45 seconds which go got reduced from our total score but they got not reduced so our score was quite not changed in in total and uh, so the tiebreaker system was not working we all were really pissed up and said okay if we are now losing uh, despite of the fact that we could not do anything about our total attack times this would be really bad but nevertheless the enemies in in total were now um, faster than we were but it ended up in a stalemate so the total attack duration the new implemented fact was quite not considered in total which is really sad if we are now summing up the last update brought quite favorable in uh, basically favorable updates or implementations which we all uh, were looking forward to but in total the only thing the only of the implementations which is staying which is current and which is working like it was intended is about the crowns and about money like pay to win like the stronghold everything else is working is completely not working or wait working in a com in a completely sad other way Way, like all of the players are not uh, liking it so I think this is I'm, I'm not pretty sure why is uh, Nexon doing this I'm definitely really disturbed about this hopefully you understood what I meant the next question is about my <coughs> my defense lock we can go through my defense lock and I think it was especially about this kind of attacks you all will know and you all will uh, have experienced the kind of night witch attacks but you can already see here is no revenge button anymore which indicates that i'm definitely especially at those players which are using this coward <laughs> this coward uh, system of night always respawning night witches to get only your oil and your resources with, without caring and losing of anything other um, again a night witch attack which i definitely will revenge probably now Nope, didn't work, no problem. In total, you can see, um, during the last days, it felt like the attacks got quite uh, fewer, so oh, not that much like before, that many like before, but in former times, especially when I was uh, above 80,000 oil, it felt like every two, every three hours, there was someone with a Night Witch getting your base, and then there were so many attacks of enemy players which are using Night Witches, it got really, really hard to revenge to all of them, but when I'm going to my defense log and seeing that uh, someone attacked me with night witches especially like over here 
<coughs> I'm really raping the revenge button. If there is, uh, he's currently under attack. If he has a peace treaty, I already have mentioned it, uh, this topic in another frequently asked questions video. If someone has a peace treaty or is currently online, I would not hope and not recommend try to revenge. But if someone is currently under attack, you can just do a logical conclusion. And this means an attack can maximum uh, durus or durates or uh, lasts for about three and a half minutes. So with connecting times and everything else around, I would say about five minutes you have maximum to click to get an enemy. If you are really unlucky and there are two attacks... Um, Getting done in the time you probably also have to click around 7 minutes. It's a little bit nerdy, but I can definitely grant you if you are um, endurant and if you are doing it frequently, then you will get your revenge. And especially at this Nightwitch players, in my opinion, and in my case, it's really worth to uh, to revenge to them to show them that this system's quite not running with me. So that's about the Nightwitches and the Devlocks. You can see there are pretty many uh, Nightwitch attacks, but in the last time it felt like they got fewer. Oh, okay, I see we are already through. That, that was uh, the last topic. So if you are interested, if you have any further questions, just give me a little a link or whatever hind down below in the comment section. And uh, if I have accumulated enough topics, um, like three or four, I can make a video about. Guys, girls, hopefully this uh, information video was quite informative and entertaining for you. We see us soon. Your domination tips.